Hello viewers, my name is Aden Yaju and you are watching Future ABC Media Online TV. I wish I could sing one of the Christian songs I used to sing when I was still a Christian. Like I have come again, I have come again. Okay, Nigerians, I have come again. But they will, uh, they will say, Father, I have come again. Only those come and take control. That's the way they taught us when we were still in the box of the matrix, you know, believing lies. But today, things have really changed. Perception is different. Perspective is different. And when you now have knowledge about things that you do not understand before, your flow will be different. This morning, I'm going to be talking about... Um, uh, this video is going to be short, so don't worry. I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to bore your data. Uh, I wish um, I say thank you to everyone who takes their time to watch my video. It's not been easy, trust me. Especially if you live in Nigeria, where, uh, like my people used to say, they would say things don't cast. You know, if you believe in Nigeria, you will know as it is, as it is good. But let's call the chase. There are still some people who are still doing well. So, out of your busy schedule, out of your tight schedule and stuff like that, if you find time to pay attention and listen to my video, I say thank you. I really appreciate you all for watching my video. And if you're watching me on TikTok, please, please, I'm begging. Let me go to my YouTube and let me subscribe on my YouTube channel. I need to build my YouTube. I only get motivated if I reach the 1,000 subscribing units, 4,000 watch hour, so I can monetize this page. Because uh, I have a whole lot of things I'm doing. But trust me, this is no joke and this is no secret. If my videos on social media begin to generate revenue for me, I'm going to have to prioritize focusing my energy on doing this i'm uh, doing video to have I mean, for you guys on the daily basics and my video are very essential because it's not just for me it's for me to share my knowledge uh, with you guys to help you decipher things that are wrong in our society to help you decipher things that should have been in our society and to help us reshape our mindset so my video is not just out there to just go out and make money it's not just how there to to push my idea out. It's purpose, I mean, it was intentionally created in order to help make a change within my community, in my environment, and at the world at large. So this morning I want to chip in something. I just want now. Sometimes I make a, you know public video where I want the whole community. Who are watching me to participate in this video, in the video that I, I pushed out today? I'm going to be uh, narrating what I saw. This highlight that I saw this morning from our celebrity. There are two celebrities I'm going to be putting their video out this morning. One is uh, Lady Bakari, though I don't believe everything I read on social media. But this is the social media only big videos of what people throw on their TikTok, on their Instagram page, on their Facebook page, and use the video or whatever was the push out to form headlines and form stories. That I was I practiced journalism for I've been in journalism since 2003, so I can authoritatively tell you that not everything you read online are true. But some can be debunked because there are video evidence that backs it up. But uh, there's a video on this page, but I'm not going to be showing you the video for copyright reasons. So I'm just going to be putting out the test there. The lady here who, who is like the backer said that, uh, okay, I think it was a video she did. Someone now respond in their comment section. So the person who published this on Talk of Niger used uh, people's uh, comments to. Uh, depict the headline the person uses it so the headline goes as thus that's why she asked for children for four men not all men cheat 
Lady Bakar is slammed for saying all men cheat and advising Lady to cheat back. So this is one of our celebrities. These are people who have um, a lot of followers. So as much as some of us are preaching and trying to look for how we can bring sanity into our environment, sanity into our world, sanity into our country, there are still some people who have wielded so much power by the influence they have on people who are all full time looking for a way to destroy the world for them. So while we are trying to douse the bastards that are being born, raised in every corridors of the world, there are some people who have made it their mission to throw out the world without thinking twice. And to them, where anything goes, in as much people are going to come and comment and watch their video or be on their page, it's going to make them money. So, the, I will read the first or second paragraph of this story. Nollywood actress Lady Bakari has been slammed over, has been slammed online over her advice to women with cheating partners. The movie star in an interview with Oye Mama TV, so I said it, there's an interview that backed this story up stated that if a man cheats on her, she will retaliate. She made this known as she asserts that all men cheat. Maybe should we say that is a perspective, saying that all men cheat? So is it true that all men cheat? You know, I want you guys to, uh, to be the judge of that, to come on and uh, uh, to come online to give your opinion uh, give your opinion about a cryptic statement the first time I saw the, the statement or the headline it seems cryptic to me it doesn't make sense at all so, but uh, well, she might have a reason she might have her own reason for saying that and it's it, it also it's also the same thing on this headline. Another celebrity, which you all do follow quite often, was uh, in this headline said, "Before marriage, I never said my husband is the only man I'm going to be sleeping with for the rest of my life." Kora Obidi laments. This one too also laments in a video. So I want to ask this question. People will say the world is changing. I'm not bothered about the world changing. I think people of the world are trying to explore every possibility, trying to change the narrative. So the question is, but whether people change is none of my business, but the moment you bring your stuff out to the public space, especially when you have a lot of huge followers, and you begin to throw cryptic stuff out there that can help shape the mindset of the young guys, I mean the young generation coming up, then how do you want the generation that are coming up to become? Or what do you expect of them in the future? When people don't think before they come out, and this very one happens to be a dancer. I think she once produced one uh, single music. According to what was written here, a Nigerian-American dancer, Kura Obidi, has reflected on her growing up in Deeper Life Church. I've read the story some days ago. Uh, where she stated that she was brought up in the but that's why I say church doesn't do anything for the anything. If the Holy Spirit is uh, really a true being that exists, somebody being in their midst for in the midst of Holy Spirit for so many years, for several years, and the Holy Spirit, which is supposed to have dwelt in that person, did not do anything. Anyway, let's not go into religion today because uh, I've discovered that. Uh, People are people. People will become whatever they chose to be, irrespective of what you say. But why I'm so bothered about this type of story is to, you know, talk about things that I I think are wrong in our society, and how our celebrities or the so-called celebrity people who do not deserve to become celebrity in the first place, how they are using their influences to destroy the young generation. So I'm appealing to the young generation if you are listening to all these people. Uh, I think uh, if you read the book of a proverb, I'm not a Christian anymore, but I understand the Bible like the hands of my hand. So trust me, there are so many wisdom words in the Bible, but it doesn't mean that the Bible is written with the inspiration of one Holy Spirit or one being. That's a lie. 
But in the book of Proverbs chapter, chapter 13, verse 20, it was clearly stated there that you need not to find yourself in the midst of foolishness. You need not to keep complaints of foolishness because complaints of foolishness suffers arms. So when you want to have a mentor, please have mentors that can that have your interests at heart. Not just people who are looking for view, who are looking for fame, just for them to get endorsement. So just for them to be using you to make themselves money. So when you go online to watch things that is not going to benefit you, things that are not going to benefit you, just know you are helping people to make money. So it's quite unfortunate uh, how a lot of people want their data, listening to rubbish, listening, listening to things that will destroy them in the future, and helping other people to make money, why even listening to their own destruction or planning for their own destruction. So I just will urge people who you know, uh, who wants to listen to people like this to be wary and careful of the kind of the type of cryptic messages that they throw out there. So, until I see you come your way next time, please, I want you to pay attention to this video and put your comments, put your comment at the comment section. I want to read your opinion. Uh, if what these ladies who are called celebrities of our time in Nigeria is. If what is said really makes sense. Sometimes, and I think it doesn't make sense, and it will make sense to some people. So I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to dish out what I see and to give my own little opinion and to hear your own opinion, which might convince me to probably accept this as not a cryptic message. But for now, until I come your way next time, take care. And please share this video if you like this video. This video is going to help promote the life of other people around you. Please let me share it. Let me subscribe on my YouTube channel. Let me subscribe on my TikTok. And I do post on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I have like uh, almost five uh, social media. YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Rumble. But Rumble is not quite... Uh, I've opened my blue sky, but I have not started posting video on the blue sky. The guy, Jack Dawson, who owns Twitter before, uh, they launched another hub called Blue Sky. So I have signed up there, but I have not started posting video on the platform. But maybe I'm going to open future ABC Media uh, account there, which I have done anyway, sorry. But I have not started posting video on the platform. So until I come your way next time, stay cool, stay blessed. And please... Keep listening to something that is going to improve your life and help your life become better. Take care.